Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can fix up our firing. So what I mean by that, when the player is trying to reload and they you know, are in the middle of that animation, you can st see we can still fire the weapon which is not something that I want the player to be able to do and it's the same for when the player is sprinting as well. You can see if I sprint, hold down left click, it's going to use ammo, it's going to fire but it's not really pointing in the direction that I want it to be. So what I'm going to show you how to do is essentially add a little check before the firing sequence to check to see if the player is reloading or if the player is sprinting. So let's go ahead and dive straight into that. So what I want to do then is essentially find where my inputs are for the firing and before it runs that fire function just tell it to run a check. So all of that stuff is going to be located inside of my third person character. So go to third person BP blueprints and then third person character give it a couple of seconds to load and then once it has loaded up we are simply going to be finding our fire function so at the bottom we've got reload ignore that aim down sights sprint ignore that crouch we don't want that the one that we're after here is called input action primary fire so essentially what we're going to be doing before it checks to see if it's got any ammo is essentially just checking to see if our sprint or our reloading variable is already true. So drag out from pressed, go to branch, and then over, over here where we've got condition, what we want to do then, like I said, is check to see if sprinting or reloading is true. Now because we want it to be either of them, we're going to use or boolean. So if either of them returns true, then it's going to, you know, do nothing. We'll sort that out in a minute. But for now, let's just hook up our is re reloading and our sprint into here. So grab your sprint to start with, drag and drop it onto the top one, and then for the second one, grab your reloading and drop it into here as well. Now, if you have things like grenades and so on, you may also want to have like your variables and all that good stuff into here. That's something for later on, but it's very simple and very easy to just add stuff onto this little check. So, what we want to do then, with this, if both of those are true, we don't want it to do anything, we don't want it to fire. If it's false, so if it's not already doing an action, just hook it up to this, just like that. Break the link from true, just by holding down control, click, and then that will get rid of it, just like that. Now, you can see we've got this little line here, going from the check ammo, all the way over from here. This is pretty much where we're making it fully automatic. After the delay, it's just going back. What we want to do is break this little link at the end of our firing sequence and then hook up true to our new check all the way at the beginning here instead. So that way, if when you're firing and you know you decide to reload and keep going and you know you try to reload while you're firing, it's gonna stop you firing straight away. But anyway, let's just go ahead and test all of this stuff that we've done and make sure it's all working. Starting off, I'm going to fire a couple of times, hold down shift, and you can see now when I hold down left click, it's no longer going to let me fire. If I press R to reload, try and fire, you can see it's not going to let me fire until it's finished the animation. And then also, if I start firing, and then press R to reload, it's going to stop us firing straight away. And that's pretty much everything for that all fixed and set up. Anyway, that's pretty much everything that I wanted to go over in today's video. Just a few quick fixes that you guys have been asking for. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This series was made possible by you guys supporting me on Patreon. If you want to help create other series like this, then check out my Patreon page in the link in the description.